Hey, this is Gnuman, and today I'm going to do a Beaumont guide. How to use him effectively, how to get the drop on players, uh, little bits of knowledge that I've picked up from playing against other people who beat me with him, <laughs> with tank characters. We're going up against Galland, who is an infantry division. Alright, so... Tank divisions often have really cheap tanks. You can actually probably do got a as much chance against you as a chicken has against an axe. You got this. You can actually get out and start attacking before any other character with tanks. Cuz infantry really takes a long time to get going. And planes can't do anything until you get like bombers and things that can hit towers and vehicles. So, let's use our tank advantage against this infantry player. Now he's gonna try to dominate us with infantry and we can easily counter that with artillery, so we're gonna do that. Now we're not getting tanks for free, like his free artillery, so we want to conserve them. So every artillery is going to have a little bodyguard so he can't jeep rush us, which a lot of players will do. The tanks take shots, the artillery does the damage. Use the terrain to your advantage with the artillery. Put them behind buildings, behind walls, and on this map, you can get a very effective artillery right in the middle. Because all the infantry comes through this pass, a lot of tanks attacks will come through, and you can just sit up there and shell them all. So, right away we can see our opponent is making the mistake of sending an infantry truck to the front line. He's an AI, we can excuse him for that, but... He's an interesting... Thing that some players do by accident. So, I haven't uh, put guards on all these yet, but being the tank division, $6 for a tank, you may as well get a tank and not a jeep for to guard these, and you will have an advantage over players that will send jeeps on the X's to try to catch all the crates. So we're doing pretty well holding, actually. AIs are very hard to get the jump on, but some players will sit there building troop trucks and you can actually march right in there and uh, do quite a bit of damage before they're even ready for you. I don't really know what to do with flame tanks, so I apologize on that, but I will show how to use the anti-tank gun. I mean, flame tanks are probably good at something, but they're expensive and they die quickly. So, supposedly they do good damage against towers, but I have artillery for that. I'm not quite sure. That might get tweaked, or I probably just don't really know much about how to use flame tanks. So, as Galland, he's got Bazooka units. I don't want to put my tanks in the lanes because those bazooka will chew me right up. And bazooka infantry are free. So, now that we're kind of going here, we have infantry coming at us. They can't get through because of our artillery. We can make an advance on their base. Check that out. He brought out the big guns now. Tank destroyers have very long range, but they cannot shoot past obstacles. Take advantage of that. They also prioritize infantry. Take advantage of that too. They are very nasty if you don't do something about them. But very expensive. So you can waste quite a bit of your opponent's money if you take them out efficiently. Now, 
We have enemy bombers. Good way to counter that. Make everything that can move continue moving. Nobody stands still. Artillery and bombers can't really hit us so well. Easily take him out with artillery that, or anti-air, rather, that does not move. There he goes, about two shots. And now we bring out our anti-tank guns. Ground this out some artillery. See, we don't want to go down the lane. Try not to do that if you can avoid it because we don't want to waste our resources trying to take lanes when we are not an infantry character. Now these anti-tank guns are similar to the tank destroyers. They have very long range. They are only able to shoot in line of sight, so any buildings your opponent might send artillery to shoot over the building and hit you. Be prepared for that. Be prepared for bombers and P-38s and such because they cannot really move that fast. But used well. They can do quite a bit of damage. I wonder if I can Ground beat this tank destroyer. Nope. Drop it. Cargo crate down. All right. Cargo crate. I lost it because I wasn't paying attention. Oh well. We'll get it back. I noticed that he targeted my artillery, and now he's going to march in. So, we have no troop trucks, but we're actually holding his infantry off. Simple fact is, artillery beats infantry. Don't put it in the lane unless you have extra money to spare. Alright, so let's put some... Uh... Always be moving. Watch that again. Ooh, we actually hit it. Bombers usually have a very hard, hard time with that. That's a bad spot for that. Check out how slow this moves. <laughs> you aren't dodging any tanks attacks with these anti-tank guns. You're just gonna sit there and. You can move it, but you're not dodging, you're just gonna prolong the inevitable. The movement is good for moving them closer and closer as you focus your attack. Let those guys keep shooting. It. Oh, Kelios. I almost forgot. First, this is an infantry guy. You can really hurt him with base artillery. A lot of infantry players are going to do the same thing. They're going to build up a lot of troop transports, bazooka transports, all that. Give them a nuke. If it doesn't destroy the troop transports, it'll send them all out in a panic, straight into your waiting ambush. Alright, time to go over Kelliops. So, your enemy is typically going to have a bunch of artillery here to defend. You can't 
A lot of times you can't really get a straight shot into the base, even with anti-tank guns. Because there's walls, and they'll hide behind the walls. Your artillery can't advance on them, because... There's another artillery. Your artillery won't be able to advance on them, because defensive artillery usually gets the advantage, unless they're shooting at infantry. Artillery prioritize infantry. So, keep that in mind. It's a good distraction. Good to hide behind. But if you don't have infantry advancing on the base, which you likely won't if you're um, Beaumont, you can use Calliopes. Now, there's a tank destroyer coming. Let's not sacrifice Calliope if we don't have to. Hide behind something, dude. See? They're prioritizing artillery or infantry, and they're getting killed. Giving the tank destroyer plenty of time to fight. I like the new dive bomber sound, that is cool. that he needs the help. <laughs> you wouldn't say that during a PvP game though. Alright, let's build some more Calliopes so we can show off how great they are. The best artillery unit. Now you don't want to only build these once you have them because they're very expensive. Any position that you're defending, like here, you can leapfrog artillery like, um, this guy back here has nothing to do. Move him, say, in front of our front artillery. That way he doesn't have to stop shooting. And he doesn't have to stop shooting. Fleet frogging is good for artillery advancement. But for the offensive artillery, these guys are good old Calliopes. I don't want this. Oof, we're prioritizing the infantry again. But look how they can attack. The enemy knows he can't just turtle in his base now because we can easily weave in and out. Assuming you can just blow it up. But the Calio, because it's moving, can dodge artillery fire while shooting at the artillery. And that's what makes it really great. Alright. So... Now that this guy has nothing else to shoot, we're gonna move him into the lane. He's not gonna go far because he's gonna see some new target to shoot. Let's fix our stuck units here. Oof. Sometimes they do this. We just have to babysit them a little bit. Let's uh, get some more artillery here. Hide him behind the building so the infantry don't get free shots on him all the time. Follow the rule. Everything must move. Absolutely everything. Helps you that much against bombers and P-38s. He's got something to shoot. He's going to prioritize infantry, but that's okay. Because we're winning anyway. And we're going to bring these guys in. So they can get a little action on those tanks. And we're going to bring more armor. More heavy units. The heavy units' purpose is to take shots. Because it's cheap. It doesn't really do that much damage, but it does kill jeeps and etc. really quick. It's a distraction and a body shield. Some more. Some more of these. 
enemies. He's definitely going to try to keep you from artillery barraging him. And you can respond by keeping him glued into his base. Set up a few of these guys in each lane. They will stop when they find something to shoot at. Oh. So you can actually put them in the lane if there's not an overwhelming artillery force. Because what you really need is a straight shot into the base and everything coming out of the factory. Alright. That's my Beaumont guide. Tank divisions are actually my weakest um, character, so maybe somebody will do a better one. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching.